I was I was knocked out on the power bomb. Um, yeah. And then it was supposed to be three, but he felt that I was in danger, so he just let me go. Like he might, he might have yeah. saved my life if we're being one hundred percent honest. You know what I mean? At that point, rewind, recap, relive for over fifty episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interview. Zach, last question about somebody you really worked with big was uh, was Brock Lesnar. He's kind of nowadays he's like a mystery to the uh, to the fans he's like shrouded in this you know unknown and uh you worked with him quite a few times so i'd love to hear and early in his career obviously how was that experience how is brock lesnar that oh, was amazing brock's the best man i love brock lesnar to death yeah um he and kind of like what kobe was talking about earlier um i trusted him with my body mm-hmm. you know to take care of yeah. me and at the time i had so much heat in the locker room that if he legitimately hurt me he would have suffered zero ramifications there have been there there would have been zero ramifications from that and um and i wanted to create something special and i wanted to create a moment and i wanted to amp up the level of violence because i i always liked those big guy versus little guy matches i always liked the like the uniqueness uh of no, nobody wants to be the third match on the card that they forget about the second the main event starts, you know, we want to create special moments that'll last forever. Um, right. and we want to live in infamy, man. And I saw that me working with Brock Lesnar as an opportunity to create a moment like that. Um, and so I, I just said, whatever, man, let's just let's let's send it. You know what I mean? Like let's let's yeah. let's do something nobody's ever seen before in terms of the level of violence. And Brock was super appreciative of that because he he needed me at that moment to get over as a heel. He had just turned heel, but he was still getting cheered. And uh, so for, for, for what WWE wanted Brock, the angle they wanted Brock to get to, they needed him to be a heel. Um, and so I was the catalyst in that, or I was helping that process happen. Um, and uh, and we just, we went and it, it got super crazy and violent and bloody and all of that. And he didn't hurt me at all. In fact, uh, one moment in, in our match, he was supposed to give me three power bombs, like a triple power bomb where yeah. he holds on. And then after uh, two, he felt um, I got knocked out. Like he felt my body go limp for a second. I, I okay. hit the back of my head on the mat. You did. Was that? You were. You were. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I, I was. I was knocked out on the power bomb. Um, yeah. And then it was supposed to be three, but he felt that I was in danger, so he just let me go. You know, like, wow. and I, I, like he might, he might have yeah. saved my life if we're being 100% yeah. honest. You know what I mean? At that point. Um, and, uh, and, and then, and then the angle is just one of those things that people still remember and talk about. And it's on YouTube. So it's going to live forever, man. YouTube exactly. wasn't around in 03. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, and uh, I, I love that. I, I love that so much of creating a moment and a memory like that. Um, it's what we all strive to do. Um, but, uh, but me and Brock always, man, we got along great. I love Brock. Uh, I, a few years ago, my buddy, uh, Jimmy Jacobs was on creative on the creative team in WWE yep. and, uh, somehow my name came up for something. Sometimes like they'll pitch my name for stuff throughout the years and yep. then either it goes somewhere or it doesn't, uh, usually it doesn't go anywhere, but, but ideas just pop up, you know, like what, Hey, what if we did this? Or what if we did that? You know, once you're part of the WWE narrative, they could bring you in for anything. Yeah. 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 It's like, what, 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 Oh man, Zach might be good in this role to get Baron yeah. Corbin over for this or whatever it is, you know? So my name came up and uh, I think it was to do something with Brock. Anyway, they're, they're talking to Brock about it. And then Brock pulled Jimmy aside and said, um, he goes, hey, are you friends with Zach? And uh, Jimmy's like, yeah, he's one of my one of my best friends or whatever. And then uh, Brock said, hey, tell him I said hi, and I love him, and thank you for what he did for wow. me all those years ago. Wow. You know, that's- and I was just, I man, it just warmed my heart. You know what I mean to hear hear that. It gives and, me goosebumps. Uh, yeah, that's so it. Cool. Really does, man. And I, I love I love Brock to death, man. No question. Yeah, that's awesome. From just uh, the fan in me, he actually is my favorite wrestler, right? So that's I love that oh, is hundred awesome. percent. That's so cool to hear. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.